we will go to a new term which is known as karyotyping and this karyotyping is very important so in genetics majority of the procedures are in relation with this process which is known as karyotyping and for your university exam also this is a very important question karyotyping so what is karyotyping karyotyping is nothing but a process by which are arranging the chromosomes of a cell in order to study the complete chromosomal complement of an individual and we are arranging it in such a way that starting from the longest chromosome ending in the shortest chromosome okay so it is nothing karyotyping is nothing but a process we are performing to study the details of a chromosome okay so to study the details of a chromosome first we have to arrange it so we are arranging it in an order okay the whole chromosomes of an individual we are arranging it in order starting from the longest and reaching to the shortest so it is the process of arranging the chromosomes in of a cell in order to study the complete chromosomal complement of an individual and chromosomes arranged in sequence starting from the longest to the shortest and whatever photo or whatever arrangement we are getting through the process of karyotyping is known as karyotype so this is known as karyotype and using this karyotype we are representing the chromosome pattern of an individual so in the beginning i have represented the autosomes the sex chromosomes the number of the chromosomes plus the sex chromosomes by means of a formula which i got through this karyotype so that is how hereafter whenever we tell we will tell the karyotype of that particular individual so karyotype is the photo or whatever we are getting through the process of karyotyping so karyotyping is the process by which we are arranging the chromosomes of any individual in order to study the details of that particular chromosome in a sequence and the sequence is starting from the longest to the shortest so this karyotyping process using this karyotyping process we can represent the arrangement of the chromosomes or the karyotype of any individual so that we can study whether that person is having the same number of chromosomes whether there is any defect in the chromosomes either in the number or in the structure and what is the defect in which chromosome the defect is there all these things we can represent by the karyotype so this karyotype mainly it is based on the position of the centromere and we can also represent the chromosomes by the size the ratio of the length between the p arm and the q arm and also the presence of satellite bodies so karyotyping process when we are arranging the chromosomes all these things we are keeping in consideration the size of the chromosome which is the longest which is the shortest the position of the centromere according to that metacentric submetacentric telocentric acrocentric then the ratio between the p arm and the q arm the length of the p arm the length of the q arm and also the presence or the absence of satellite bodies so whenever we are arranging the chromosomes we will take into consideration all these factors so i hope you remember majority of the satellite bodies are present in acrocentric chromosomes okay so with all this we will do the karyotyping and as you can see here this is the karyotype of an individual